Hey everybody! I am here to um, show you. I've been playing with the um, some of the molds that I got from Natasha Scrapbook Corner that I um, showed you the other day, and I told you I would come back and show you um, how they came out. And I'm also going to do a demo of how I worked with the very thin ones. Um, the ones I'm going to show you are all resin. Um, they came out amazing. I was concerned about how shallow they were and um, no concern about that with the resin. Um, I did try to use a little bit of clay. Uh, what I have here is the Crayola air dry clay. I'm not real happy with that. Um, you know, I, I didn't even <coughs> let it finish setting up or anything. So um, if you want to use clay I would suggest maybe try um, something that's very fine and soft like the Martha Stewart um, air dry clay. I haven't used that myself. Um, I just don't want to spend the money on it for the quantity you get. Uh, but at some point down the road I might try making another batch of the cold porcelain clay and see how that works out. So today is all about the resin. So I wanted to um, show you some of the pieces that I did. Um, this was the carousel horse and I, I should have poured a little bit deeper but the detail on that is absolutely gorgeous and the dimension is awesome. I absolutely love it. So I do have a Christmas project in mind and so I'll be making several of those and painting them up. Um, I did the swan. That was the mold. And it is just gorgeous. Love, love, love that swan. Um, I did the two cameos and I did, um, did, did them in three parts um, with the head part I just kept it plain white and after that cured I kept it in the mold I did not pop it out and then I um, tried to color my resin w with black um, uh, alcohol ink and did the inset part and then let that cure kept it in the mold and then I wanted the frame to be pink but the colors didn't come out like I wanted them to um, so I'll, I'll be painting over at least the frame part, but for some, some reason the black came out chocolate brown and the pink frame just wasn't light enough. But the detail on these is incredible. And there's the dimension. They are just freaking awesome. That's the first one. And here's the second one. And there's the dimension on that. So I'll be painting those and I'll definitely be making more of them and that was this cameo mold. So love, love, love. And then I'll do the uh, small laces first. Yeah, and there, there's resin residue on my molds now. But this mold This is the lace, and it is just absolutely amazing. That's that one. And with these, I like the flat finish side, but there's also the shiny side. So it's whatever you like, but I like the flat finish because it does take paint really, really well. Then there was this mold. And it bent a little bit because I had the uh, had these curl up in a box to bring them downstairs to do the video. But isn't that gorgeous? Uh, 
Um, and there was this mold and of course the phone rings. I will be right back. Okay, sorry about that. There was this mold. And this is the waste that came from it. Now there is a little bit of cleanup work to do. Let's do it this way. Um, but I haven't been able to find my um, my good sharp exacto knife. So I've got to find that and, and just do a little bit of cleanup work on it. But the detail is just absolutely incredible. And then the doilies. Now this was the very first one that I made and I think and I think my resin was old because it's actually still really pliable. <laughs> but it was this mold. And this is the doily. I mean, how freaking awesome is that? Absolutely love it. And this is the, this is the mold that I was um, when I did my haul video that I was concerned about all the fine detail and and how shallow it was. But man, oh man, oh man. How gorgeous is that? Just absolutely amazing. I'm just, I'm thrilled with how these are coming out. And the resins, I mean, I, I can use them in projects. I can use them as, um, you know, masks or stencils and use with sprays and mixed media. I mean, just, there's definitely going to be a lot of possibilities with these. And then there was this this uh, doily with the bird, and I am absolutely in love with this one too. Just absolutely gorgeous. And now we get into the big boys that were kind of thin. Okay, there is this one. And I didn't put resin in the whole thing and I cut the um, cut the sides so that I would have nice clean edges. But look how amazing that is. And just like regular lace, you could you could cut strips out of this to have multiple different types of laces. Okay, and I did the lattice one. And this is where I learned that if you leave it in there too long, it's going to be harder to get the, um, the pieces the resin that you don't want in there out. It, it'll require a lot more cleanup work. But that's the lattice and flower one. And again, I need to find my X-Acto knife because you know, I know it can be cleaned up. But we're gonna, um, I'm gonna try something today while I'm doing the video to see if it makes a difference. And I think, I think if it's left in there too long to cure, then that's when you'll end up having more cleanup work to do. But it's still gorgeous and it could be cut up into pieces. You could do half the size. Bunch of possibilities again. Or again, yeah, using it as a um, as a mask. And this one, the same thing. I think I left it in there too long but my X-Acto knife will be able to clean it up. And I did not cut the edges on this. Again, I did not fill up the entire mask or the entire mold. Because just playing at that point. And then when I decide if I want to straighten up the edges, I can keep those little pieces because they can definitely be used in other projects. 
I am thrilled with the detail in these. Absolutely thrilled. Lay those down flat so they don't bend up more. And then, uh, you know, when I'm pouring resin, I always, I always have other molds available in case I have some excess and need to get rid of it because I don't want to waste it. But there's that mold. And I'm just pour it in. There's one of the little doilies. I'll hold it off. Hold it on the back. Or on the black. Two little doilies and part of one. Again, just because it's it's not a whole thing doesn't mean that you can't use it in something. Especially with mixed media. Okay. So let me get these out of the way. And I'm going to show you how I did the thin one. And I'm taking this one that I haven't done. And this one isn't real shallow. And I also have um, have some molds that, you know, just to be able to put excess in if I have it. Um, you'll need, you know, an old credit card, an old gift card, something, you know, that's got a good straight edge on it. Um, I use the two-part Amazing Casting Resin. This particular one does dry white, but they do make a clear one also. Um, I get these little plastic shot glasses from the dollar store. It's 24 for a dollar. Can't beat that. Don't have to worry about you know, using it and having to throw it away. Measuring spoons from the dollar store. Um, just a, a little rubber scraper. I think I got that at a yard sale or the thrift store or something. Craft, craft sticks. You can pick, pick those up. I think I, I might have gotten these from the dollar store too. And that's pretty much what you need. So I'm going to see if I can angle this camera down a little bit more. There we go. So that you can see what I'm doing. And you know what? Before I do this, I'm taking away the black paper and I'm putting wax paper down. Because when you're doing this, some of it might overflow the sides, and you don't want to don't want to want it to get stuck to paper or whatever. But you can use your nonstick craft mat. I just didn't feel like dragging mine downstairs. Okay, so this is a fairly large mold. I know I could use, if I wanted to fill it, I know I could use a tablespoon of each part. But that's hard to work with because the more resin you have, the faster it starts to cure. And I, I know that probably doesn't sound like it makes sense. Um, but in, in the, it seems like the thinner and finer the mold, the more time it takes to cure. And I don't know if it's because the resin has less material to react with um, because the chunkier molds tend to cure a lot faster than anything that has fine detail. So I'm just going to use a teaspoon of each part at a time. And a little bit actually does go a long way. I mean, it's possible I might, I might be able to do most of this stencil. Oop, I overflowed some. So I have to make sure I overflow on the other part also because you do have to have equal parts. And then I just use the rubber scraper to get as much of it out of the measuring spoon as I can. Okay, and now the second part. I don't know why that has gunk down at the bottom.
Okay, let me make sure I overflow some. There we go. I do have a little bit more than a teaspoon in here. Use my scraper, scrape it out, but you don't want to take too much time doing that. You take your craft stick and just stir it up until it becomes clear. It's going to get cloudy first, and, I, and I've done a tutorial on this before. It's been a while, but <coughs> you keep stirring until it, it turns clear again. Okay, and then I am going to, don't know where these little bits came from, I gotta get them out. Okay, I'm gonna pour it into a section of the mold, and I'm gonna use my credit card and start spreading it into all the grooves. Now if you pour it all at once, you still want to pour it relatively quickly, but if you pour it all at once, you're going to have too much to work with, and then trying to get the excess off after everything is filled is going to be a bit of a pita. P-I-T-A, I think you all can figure out what that stands for. <laughs> So I'm just working it into the cut of the mold. And you want to go back and forth over and over because there will be spots that will get missed. You know, I, I did find that out when I did the first few. in that area. Okay, and then just for kicks, I'm going to do some down on the other end so that we can do a little test on the curing time. So that you can see how if you let it cure completely it might be harder to get all those other bits out. Now I'm just scraping it, working it into the design. the longer you take, the longer it sits in your little cup, the thicker it's going to get. So that's that's why you want to want to work with some speed. Now I'm just going to go ahead and pour the rest of this out. See, it's, it's getting really thick now. And the thicker it gets, the harder it gets to spread. The harder it is to spread also. And this thick part might make it harder to clean. You know, as far as getting getting those spots out. So again, not trying to do the whole thing right now, but just enough. to be able to get the detail. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to let that set. And you can see, I mean, it's turning white and everything in my cup already, so I mean, that's what's in there, that's done. 
and that was just using a little more than a tablespoon of each, so or a teaspoon of each. So imagine tr using a tablespoon of each part. It's going to be you're going to have to work super super fast. Okay, so I'm going to let that set up, and then just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. That's why I should have brought a. Uh, a talon out here with me to wipe this excess resin off the card. Um, that smaller pieces or larger pieces seem to cure faster than smaller fine pieces. Get a new cup. So I'm just going to do a teaspoon, um, half a teaspoon of each part and work with this uh, seashell mold. I'll just fill whatever I can fill with that amount of resin. And here, I'm just, because it's a smaller spoon, I'm just using my craft stick to try to scrape out as much as I can. Stir it up till it gets clear. And just pouring it into some of the seashells. And that's not going to be enough to fill it, but it can give me a cool little piece of textured something. I'm just spreading it around to grab that texture. Okie dokie. So it's starting to turn white. Uh oh, got a cat hair in there. Starting to turn white. And this flourish is one. And I did try to work a little too quickly at the at this bottom part because there's uh there are some gaps. If I wanted to, I could go back and throw some more uh resin over top of that. Um, but I'm not, in the interest of time, I'm not going to do that for this. Because I'm just playing, just doing a demo. Let's see, try to bring this in closer. And see if you can actually see what it's doing. It might be, might be kind of hard to see, but it is starting to turn white in some spots and that's mostly in the areas where I was pouring it when after or putting it in after it got thicker and then down here the resin was a little thicker when I was putting it in so that's actually curing faster so it's uh, it's turning so I think what I'll do is um, Give it a few minutes. I'll go ahead and turn the camera off. I'll give it a few minutes and then I will come back and we'll see what happened. See you in a few minutes. Okay, this blue one is not ready yet, but I just wanted to show you real quick um, that the, what I was talking about, how the, the, the finer and more shallow your stencils are or your molds are, the more time they're going to take to cure. Just wanted to show you these shells are already curing and turning white and where the one that just had a little bit in it it's not even turning white yet so that that's just an example and it's, it's got to be a chemistry thing um, but just wanted to be able to show you what I was talking about there because 
I understand things better visually too. So I'll come back when this uh, when this one has uh, has some more time to cure, and I'll see you soon. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Um, I think I'm going to regret putting that second coat on because I think all the um, the raised blue parts. I think there's going to be a thin coat on that uh, where I'm going to have to clean it all out. So that'll end up being some work. Um, so I'll go ahead and do down here first. And when it's entirely cured, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be firm. Yeah, I see I did miss some parts. So what I'm doing is see, so that little piece fell out, there's nothing attached to, but I'll still use it. Um, when you're taking these out, you want to be bending the mold and almost rolling these bits out. See, I'm just gently lifting. Yeah, there's going to be cleanup on this too. But it is what it is. I mean, still worth doing. And maybe when I get a little more practice doing this, I'll figure out a way to um, be able to remove what's on the raised parts while it's curing. I did try playing a little bit with that the other night, you know, like wipe, um, using uh, baby wipe with the uh, credit card and skimming along but I was um, hitting into the actual resin part too much. So it might take some tweaking, but you can see I'm, I'm just pulling this out very gently. And again, I mean, this, this might have cured, even though it's still pliable, it, it might have cured too long to be able to avoid getting that excess resin in there from the raised parts. But these designs are so cool. I will definitely continue to uh, to play. And I did use my pokey tool on some parts on some of the other on some of the other ones that I did, and it worked great for getting those fill pieces out. See, and, the, and this is where. I stopped and we'll start getting small pieces. So I'll just break those off. But look how cool that is. And if I was not going to color the resin, I probably wouldn't even worry about the those inside pieces. And like on the on the outside parts, I can just sit and pull that off. But once you start getting inside it, it's a little bit harder to do. I mean, you can, a pokey tool actually did work pretty well. But the detail on these is, is just absolutely amazing. This one, I'm definitely going to, since I did that second skim coat, I think there's going to be more of that filler. Now I will say the laces did come out easier because it was like a consistent pattern, if you know what I mean. There's more to grab one to. Okay, so I'm not going to sit. This is going to take a while to pull out, so I'm not going to sit here and make you watch it, but I am going to go ahead and pop out the other ones that are fully cured. Let's see how they came out. So 
So that is the heart, and it is gorgeous. A lot of great detail in that. I did pop out the shells already, except for that one that was only part. Love these. Pop out these wings. A little bit of cleanup to do on those, but no big deal. A good pair of uh, sharp scissors will clean that right up, but those are gorgeous. I love them. And these are the ornaments. And I did actually use the uh, use the credit card to spread into these. There's one. And these are where I was using some excess. Whereas and that was left in the cup when I did the wings because I didn't think I had enough to uh, do the large pair. See, these are just, oh, I love them. These are still a little bit soft, but that's okay. See, because I used the credit card, I've got some of that skim. But again, that'll be easy to clean up on these. The worst part is getting it off your fingers. <laughs> See, now normally I would have just used like like a little um, baby food spoon to get it into the parts. But I didn't have one handy and I was just playing, so. And let's see how these frames came out. This is the one that I wasn't sure about because the... Um, because of the way the raised parts look. So I don't know what these are gonna look like, but we're about to find out. And I'm just bending. Oh, that's cute. The frame actually has little flowers on it. These are neat. See this one I would probably use horizontally rather than vertically because of the shape of it. And this is just an oval one. Sometimes you just want something simple. You could paint it, bling it up a little bit if you wanted to. Now this one it has a, a lot of detail. Awesome! Love it. Okay, so once I finish getting this one peeled out, I will come back and show it to you. And 
that will be um, the end of today's demo. And um, I'll keep playing. And if I come up with a way to get the get the full parts to not be there, then I will certainly share that with you. Um, until then, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, check out Natasha's store, Natasha's Scrapbook Corner. I will leave the link below because um, she got some more bling brooches in too and they're just absolutely gorgeous. So molds, bling, I mean, laces. I mean, she's got a, an awesome selection and variety of things for all of us to play with. Um, so hopefully I will see y'all see y'all soon. Until then, take care. Bye bye. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm I'm just gonna try something here. Just had, had a little brainstorm um, because this one. I mean, there's a lot of cleanup work that's needed with that. Um, and honestly, I don't know if I'll have the patience to do that much. So I had a thought, and I'm just going to try it, and we're going to see at the same time together whether or not this will work. So I'm going to um, work with this lattice one again and see if I can't get a little bit cleaner pull. And let's keep our fingers crossed because that will be awesome if this works. Just get this resin going. I'm still going to do the same pouring and filling process using the credit card to spread it out. And there is still there there's still resin on these parts, so I don't know if this is if this is going to be work or not. But we're going to find out. Cuz I'm afra afraid it might try to lift at the same time. But we'll see. I'll try to go in an area that doesn't have as much of the resin uh, residue left in it. So just smoothing it into the little nooks and crannies. I hope this works because it's a really easy solution if it does. Go ahead and pour the rest. Yeah, I'm not worried about getting a clean edge because I can just snip that off. Okay, I'm wiping off my card. And what I did, I just cut open a brown, lunch, uh, brown paper lunch bag. And I am going to smooth this down on the top. Actually, let me run the card over it. Actually, that's a pretty neat impression it's leaving. Hmm. 
Hmm. I have a feeling it might have picked up too much of, of the resin that was inside. But maybe, just maybe, it separated it enough. I don't know. We'll see. I thought about tissue paper, but I was afraid it was going to stick. But that picked up a lot, a lot of resin. But gosh, that's pretty cool to use in something else when it dries. <laughs> Waste not, want not. Okay, so I'll, I'll come back after this um, cures, if it cures, because now it's really, really thin. And uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, we're going to try this again. Um, the, brown, the concept of the brown paper kind of worked, um, but because it picked up so much of the resin... Um, I did do another skim, did do another layer of resin, um, and not as much of the, um, of the film part, um, was left. It's better, but it's still not as good as I would like it to be. Um, so I'm going to do another little bit and I'm going to brave it and try tissue paper and see how that goes. I'm not going to do a big chunk. Just whatever this teaspoon of resin does, or half teaspoon. And let's see. At least I enjoy trying to figure things out. <laughs> and when, once I get something stuck in my head, I don't like to give up on it. See, but this time the credit card is taking it up pretty pretty well. I mean, there's hardly hardly anything on the raised parts. Now with the car. So, hmm. But I'm going to slap a little piece of tissue paper down there anyway. And just lightly brush over. I was hoping tissue paper would be light enough that it wouldn't go down into the design, but it did. Well, nuts. Yeah, it picked up a lot of the resin. So I'm just going to mix up a little bit more. And refill. Now I will say with the um, with the lace ones that didn't have a lot of open space in them, this isn't a, this isn't a concern at all. But if there's a lot of space, I do want to figure out how to be able to um, use these without having to do all that cleanup. So. You get to go along the ride with me, if you want to. <laughs> okay. Well, I shouldn't take as much, since there's already some in there. Just take it out a little bit further. I 
And maybe that's the answer, is uh, just wiping off the card in between swipes. Let's see if that doesn't... It might just be as easy as that. be wonderful. Now I can see it's still very thin on those raised areas. But there may be no avoiding that period. Okay, I'm going to let it cure. I'll be back. Okay, so the resin is set up, and um, you know, we determined that the brown paper bag and the tissue paper do not work, but you're actually getting some really cool paper to work with in another project. So, I started to peel this up a little bit, and um, it's looking pretty good. So it appears that just uh, passing over it with the credit card and wiping the credit card off after every pass, once, you, once you've got everything filled and you want to start to do a little cleanup work before it sets, um, like you saw me do in the last part. So this is, is a little thin. And it, it does take some care to pull it up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to lay it out and roll it down and see if that doesn't make it a little easier. And that way I'm not putting as much pressure on the uh, on the resin while I'm getting it out of the mold. Oh yeah, this is coming out nice and clean this time. Yay! Almost done. I don't know if you can see that I'm actually bending the mold as I'm lifting it out. And there is nothing to clean up on that. Freaking awesome! Yay! <laughs> now I feel better. So, so once you get your resin poured and you're smoothing it out with your credit card, getting it into all the crevices and everything, after everything is in, then start passing, let me get, it, get in frame here, passing your credit card over, have a paper towel or a wet wipe, wipe it off, wipe it off, pass it over, wipe it off, just keep doing that until you get most of the, um, the residue off of the raised parts of the mold. So yay, success! There is not one bit to clean off of this, so that is awesome. Okay, I think I'm really done for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate your comments. If you have any questions, I will try to answer them, and um, I will hopefully see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.